Check resolution. Calling me at this uh the wall camp. It's been breached. What? Do you mean the water buck wall? Yeah. Apparently there has been a massive callous attack. Even the military couldn't keep them contained. We have been constantly getting police calls all over the area. Look, I'm driving right now and I'm on my way from Barbasan. I can pick you up along the way. Damn it! Okay, let me get my stuff ready. I'll be there in a few minutes. Keep safe, brother. Well, I haven't used you in a while. Close. 
I'm glad I saw you enter those alleyways and came just in time. Yes, there were just so many of them around. I've never seen that many before, even before the wall was built. The military did a good job keeping them out for some years, but whatever happened tonight was the end of it, for Cape Waterbuck at least. The wall. You said that it was somehow breached. Do you know what happened? I got called into the department in Marmoset. Apparently people saw some callous creeping around the village. We drove around for a while, but found nothing. Later, we got a call from the military guys at the wall. They said there was heavy fighting going on and that they will keep us up with what's happening. The next thing I know, the whole village is being overrun by the callous. We tried to defend for a while, but there was nothing that could be done. I got in my car and forwarded. What did the military do about any of this? You are the chief of the Waterbuck Police Department. Didn't they tell you anything beforehand? You know, the police and the military are close, but not directly connected to each other. All I know is that something happened to let the Callison and the military hasn't told us much about it yet. What are we gonna do? The air is not safe. We gotta get as far away as possible from the callus. There is a small hut in the woods that I used to stay back when I used to fish as a hobby. It's a few kilometers away from here. Should have some supplies and keep us under the radar for a while. Until we get out of water bucket least. That sounds good. It's great to know you made it out alive, brother. You too. Brother, we are in this together. This is the place. We should be safe here for a while. Before we go in, here's something I got from the police station.
So, you might be wondering why we left in such a hurry. I got the radio working and I've got good and bad news for you. Okay, tell me what's going on. The good news is, they started evacuating people off of water by. The docks are the place to go and it's not very far away from here. That's great. What are the bad news then? The military has apparently been broadcasting for a few hours now. Hopefully we are not too late. It's a good thing we are on the road then. Yeah. You said we were close to the docks. Do you have a map or something like that with you? Yes. Check that compartment. There should be a map of this area there. Let's move it! Your ID, sir, please. Heck, Chief of the Waterbuck Police Department. Good morning, sir. Good morning, soldier. That's my brother with me. Did the others from the police department make it to the docks? Some of them have arrived this morning and were evacuated with helicopters, sir. That's great to hear. What is going on in Waterbuck? How did the Kellers get in? There was a sabotage, sir, that resulted in a breach. We are still yet to identify who is responsible for it. We have managed to evacuate around 300 civilians to Northern Dromedary. Three helicopters will be coming in 50 minutes. You can wait until they arrive, sir. How about all of these people? The operations will continue until noon, sir. That should allow us to evacuate a few more hundred civilians. Okay, soldier. Thank you for the information. Yes, sir. There is a military district close to Northern Dromedary. I hope everybody will be safe there. I hope so, too. Something's not right, Camp. Movie, get away from here, everyone! Run, Camp, I'll meet up with you later. How's it going, Hank? Man, they almost got us. We should talk with the captain to learn where we- Let me take a look around first. Is everything okay? Yeah. Did you see how fast those things move? Yes. 
I'm glad we managed to. Let me know if you need anything. Thank you. What's your name? Camp. And yours? Lucas. And that's my son, Mason. Say hello, Bunny. Hello, Mr. Camp. Hello, Mason. Ha. Huh. Yep. Excuse me. Do you know where we are headed? Unfortunately, no. I don't even know where he is. Perhaps you know where I the captain is. I just got on the ship is. after running away from the callus. Yeah, me too. My wife and kids managed to get on a helicopter before they showed up. At least knowing that your family is safe should be relieving to you. Excuse me. Yep. Do you know where we are headed? This must be where the captain is. We should go and ask him what he is planning on doing. Yes. Hello, sir. Do you mind if we have a talk? Of course. Come in. Thank you for letting us on your ship. You saved a lot of people last today. No problem. People are lucky I came to trade here. I didn't catch your name. Call me Marcus. Okay, Marcus. Where does this ship come from? That's not really important right now. All that is important is getting you people to safety. I have some friends that can help you people once we reach Martin City. What do you mean, Martin City? We are headed to Martin City to get you to safety. Why are we traveling east instead of joining with the others in Northern Dromedary? We can protect you. Unlike the military, Martin City is also already closer to us. Wait, 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 hold up a second, Marcus. What you're saying makes no sense. We already have the military waiting for us in Dromedary. I'm the chief of the Waterbuck Police Department. I can authorize this ship to enter without a problem. Wait, you are the chief of police. What is that noise? Hey, come back! Come on, Cam! We gotta go! That's Marcus! Where is he going? Stop waiting and get inside. That's not gonna hold long. Protect me until I lower the boat. You had a boat here all along. You should be glad there is one because that's your ticket out of here. And you're just gonna leave everyone to die there. Listen, old man, your orders in the police station don't apply to me. If you want to get out of here alive, you do as I say. And what if I don't have... You and your precious boat won't get out here without our help. That's enough. We don't have much time. We gotta get that boat running. One of them must have jumped on the ship as we were leaving the docks. The journey should have given them enough time to multiply. You have to keep them out until the boat is ready.
go, go, move it. Marcus, you said you had some people waiting for us in my city. Who are these people? They are too far for us to reach with this boat now. There is just about enough fuel to get to the Martin City docks. I have never been to that part of the city. No way to contact anyone. No one to come get me. What have I gotten myself into? Now I am stuck with you too. I mean, how bad could the city be? It is not a protected area like Cape Waterbuck, brother. Which means there's no one else to protect us but ourselves. On top of that, people, who will see three of those strangers like us as a jackpot? If we want to survive, we have to be very careful and not wait until we are cornered somewhere. That makes sense. I do remember hearing about a military base in the outskirts of the city before all of this went down. Marcus, do you happen to know anything about hmm. such a place? I have heard some things about a military base. Maybe they know that the water by wall is breached. They should help us get to safety. Let's see. We can get off at the low fishing docks and travel through the forest until we reach the city. From there, we can take a look at our options. It will still be dark by the time we get to the docks. This should help us to stay hidden. Yes, Hank. Why don't we go fishing together after we're done with all of that? I would be delighted, Hank. Hmm. We need some light in here. It looks like a souvenir shop. It is long abandoned, though. Well. They are not here now. Why don't we rest here for the night? Yeah. Sounds good, Mark. <laughs> ah, it's been a long day.
check out what I found, Hank. A flashlight? Got three of them for each of us. They might come in handy later. Thanks, brother. I just checked upstairs. There are some old backpacks that we can use. Let's rest for the journey tomorrow. The city should be this way. I don't know how much is left, but we'll see. Marcus. Yes. You dropped something as we started running on the ship. I think it's a picture of you. I hope you didn't mind me taking a peek. Yeah. Are these the people that were waiting for the ship? No, they're not. Yep. So, is there anything you want to know about? I used to live in the other parts of the city before. We did lots of trading and scavenging. What kind of trading? All sorts of stuff. That's how you survive outside the comfort of the walls. Camp, right? You sure do like asking a lot of questions. What do you do? I work on some construction projects in Waterbuck. I see. What about your brother? Hey, it's not gonna do any good for you to know. Just getting to know each other. Back on the ship you told me you were the chief of the police department. It's quite dangerous for you in particular. What do you mean? The military, or the police and outsiders don't get along that well you know. Hey, why don't we stay silent? And just enjoy this beautiful scenery here. was an ambush by the Coatis. 
We should be more careful. Hoop, hoop. The co -archers. I have heard some things about the huh. police station. Hoop. Apparently they huh. are a militant group in this province. Let's not yep. wait around then. Yep. We wouldn't want to come across any hoop. City. Oh, Marcus, what have you brought us into? That's a lot of callous. We can't take on all of them at once. How do we cross the road? That's not gonna be easy. Maybe we can pass through that hotel instead. That seems like a good idea. Okay. We can hide behind the cars. Let's all move together at three. One, three, let's go! Move aside. Ready, move! Don't be seen!
happened here? The military bomb, parts of the city that were heavily infested with callus. Well, until they realize that the callus is not that easy to get rid of. Collapse on us. Well, it's up to you. You say you wanted to go on a holiday. This isn't quite what I was imagining. I appreciate it, nonetheless. Welcome, Chief. Don't call me that around here. It seems like you two are bonding. Let me take a look around, you guys. Bonding is not the right word here, brother. But whatever. Yep. It was very unfortunate what happened with the ship. I wish there was another yeah. way. I had many memories with huh. her. If I had the chance, I would have saved all those people, but there was only one boat on board. May they rest in peace. Where did you run off like that, though? First, I went to check the noise, and it was just chaos after. Hank, can you help me open this? Let's see. Ah, what's more? It opens to this side. Makes sense. It's in hideout. Marcus, brother, Hank. What? Where is Marcus? Have you seen him? Huh? No. He really is gone. That can't be good. Let's pack up and look around. Maybe he went to the cafeteria downstairs. Did he tell you anything as he was leaving? Nah. I just woke up. I haven't even seen it. Hopefully he's around here somewhere. Huh. Huh. Oh, nice! Marcus! Oh, you've woken up. What are you doing here? I woke up early and couldn't sleep after that. I found a phone at the reception, but it doesn't work. You should have at least told us you were going downstairs. We were worried. Yeah, I didn't mean to make you worried. But anyways, I have some great news for you. 
I had enough time to plan a way to get to that military base you were talking about. As you know, we need to travel through the city to get there, and this city is certainly not safe. Yes, and what other option do we have? We can travel using the Martin City subway tunnels. We would be underground and not be seen by other people. Hmm, that's actually a pretty good idea. Where exactly is this military base we were talking about? North of Ermin County, close to Wombat Park. We can get as close as possible using the tunnels and then continue on the surface. Alright, so let's get moving! There's a map over there. Yeah, we are in the right place. And there seems to be electricity the train might actually run. Can we really get this thing to run, Marcus? Maybe. Let's take a look at the controls at the front. The door doesn't open. Maybe the train is not powered up.
camp. Come and check this out. Hoop. People used to live here. Look at Hoop. this. They barricaded this side of the entrance. That's smart. Whoa! Hoop. At least we won't be going that way. Well, let's take a look at this train. You read my mind. sure what these controls do, but let's give them a shot and see what happens. And maybe this. Wow, I am surprised that it actually functions. I can't believe it, Marcus. If we get to that base alive, we will be celebrating together. Yeah, don't worry about it. We might have a problem, though. What problem? This right here is only for the train controls. There may be a need to adjust the tracks to get us to the right place. I'm guessing we can automatically do that from the controls at the front of the train. One of us can go to the front and take care of it while we control the train from here. I'll go, I can do it. You sure about that, brother? Yes, I got it. Okay, make sure you direct the train to the correct station. We need to get to Wombat Park using Line 3. Okay, I'll do my best to make it back here in no time. Stay alert, brother. Okay, I got this. Just need to get to the other side. Wombat Park, on line three. It's in the correct position. That should do it. there. There isn't a long way left. I have to say, Marcus, I have doubted you at times, but you have helped us come here all the way from Cape Waterbuck and quite possibly even saved our lives. Come stay with the military because they will protect us, and I will now be able to continue my job and help keep more people protected. You see, Chief Hank, that is what we both have in common. Guys, let's be careful around here. We both want to protect our friends and family. 
Make them feel safe. Stop things that might hurt them. Whether it be an outside threat, like the callous, or a certain group of people that think they are the ones protecting everyone when they are the ones destroying innocent lives. What are you talking about, Marcus? Hank, it's a trap! Sudden movement. Get closer to the wall, don't move! You set us up, didn't you? You coward! Keep it quiet, will you? Where the hell were you, Marcus? We've been waiting in this dump of a train station for hours. Yeah, I didn't have enough time to explain everything at the hotel. Give me a break. Did you get the new recruitments from Waterbuck? What does it look like? The ship got attacked by the Callus and we had to flee with a boat. What are you even doing shooting at the door? That could have been me. Sorry, Marcus. Are there only you three? Yes, I got some good news for you. This gentleman right here is the chief of the Waterbuck Police Department. Arr! It would have been nice if you didn't shoot him at sight. He was right there as I opened the door. Sorry, boss. Anyways, and this one is his brother. You were a coward all along, weren't you? Quiet! My goodness, Marcus. Do you know how much of an upper hand this will give us against the military? Take care of them and bring them back to camp. Make sure you keep both of them alive. Okay, don't make this difficult. Turn your back and show me your hands. Turn around! Hank! Hank! Hey, what was that noise? The enemy is in that direction! I'll Let's take, take you down! down. Come, on, Come on! Take him out! shot in the stomach, but I think I will be fine. You are bleeding, Hank. We gotta get you fixed up. This might hurt. Hold tight. Damn. Lean on me. Let's get you to the military base. You will make it, Hank. You will make it. That has to be base Irma. Hold on, Hank. We are almost there. Help. Help. You gotta help us. He is hurt. Come on, Hank! Just a little bit more! Come on, Hank! Hold on! Identify yourself! I'm Kim, and that's my brother, Hank. He is wounded. Please, help us! We got ambushed by the co-op team! Please! Thank you! Thank you so much! We made it, Hank! Thank God we made it! You 
lucky you brought him here just in time. He has lost a lot of blood, but he should be okay for now. You have come all this way from Cape Waterbuck to Ermine County, and you carry Chief Hank until you reach our base to save his life. What an exceptional citizen and brother you are, Cam. Thank you, Commander Cole. It is my duty. The last few weeks have been difficult for us here in Ermine. There have been more and more attacks from the Coatis. We just fought a very large palace horde yesterday and lost many valuable men. The weather conditions seem to be getting worse as well. Winter has just arrived and we are already low on some supplies and medical equipment. You are welcome to stay here, Cam. We will keep on trying to survive. But you should know the future for Ermine looks very grim. I understand, Commander Cole. I'll try to help as best as I can. You're right, brother. How do you feel? Everything hurts. You should rest, my brother. You will get better soon, trust me. We still have that fishing trip planned, remember? You bet. Really looking forward to it, brother. Mr. Camp, can we talk? Of course. I am Olivia Healer, senior doctor at Air Mine Military Base. We have managed to stop your brother's bleeding. He is doing well for now, but his condition can worsen very quickly if untreated. What do you mean? The bullet hit him between his right kidney and stomach. We have cleaned up the wound as best as we could, but couldn't get the bullet out yet because we don't have the medical supplies for the surgery. It might cause serious infections if we don't get it out as soon as possible. Is there anything I can do, Dr. Olivia? We have many wounded after the Coati attacks, and especially after what happened yesterday. With our low supplies, we eventually won't be able to treat everybody. We need new medical supplies urgently. Is there anywhere where one can find such supplies? There used to be a hospital in the outskirts of Martin City, which is a few kilometers away from here. I don't know what is left of it after many years, but I hope it might have the stuff we need. I might be able to go there and take a look. It's better than staying here and waiting, right? You might save many lives, including your brothers, if you do decide to go. Me and my staff would be very grateful for your help. What's needed, Doc? Let me see. We need clean for sept scalpels, retractors, and antiseptic agents for the surgeries. You can find most of these in the surgery department. If there is one, of course. If you happen to find unused syringes and antibiotics, those will come in handy as well. Understood. Where's this hospital located? After you leave the base, follow the road and head northwest. You should reach the hospital eventually. Thank you for helping Hank and others. Lots of lives are counting on you, Mr. Camp. Please be safe.
The weather is starting to get really cold. Martin City General Hospital. This is the place.
Mr. Kemp, you have arrived. I got the supplies you need. How's my brother doing? His situation has gotten worse. You might want to see him. Hank! Kemp, you are back. I got everything they need to help you heal Hank. You will make it. Hold on. Listen to me, Kemp. You know, the same group that attacked Emine military base numerous times and captured several military equipment. He has his own set of men, presumably those that ambushed Mr. Cam as a subway station, possibly more. Marcus plays an important role. He travels to neighboring cities so that he can get new recruitments for the Kowatis. He must have seen the breach of the waterblock wall as an arrangement for more people to rebel against the military and join their growth. Mr. Camp, would you like to add anything in particular? What can I say? Today has been unreal. Marcus and the Coatis must be stopped at all costs. Sir, it's another Coati attack. They just attacked the outer perimeter wall and damaged the west gate. Our men are fighting outside as we speak. How many of them are there? We have counted at least 50 people and three vehicles. It's the biggest group we have seen yet, sir. This must be an organized attack. I'm ordering the troops to take position. We will stand our ground no matter what. Position soldiers and let's defend our home!
lane outside.
Sure is. They even have a conference room. Sir, what do you think will happen if we manage to take over base airmine? Hey, do you see that? Oh, I got him! You're at the wrong place, but... It sure is. They even have a conference room. Sir, what do you think will happen if we manage to take over base airmine? It will help the Coatis in this area to finally live in peace. After all the hardship we've endured, we deserve to live in peace, my friends. Ooh, I really like the sound of that. Wait, I think I saw something. What do you mean? Let me take a look. I see someone open the back curtain. <laughs> It sure is. They even have a conference room. Sir, what do you think will happen if we manage to take over base airmine? It will help the Coatis in this area to finally live in peace. After all the hardship we've endured, we deserve to live in peace, my friends. Ooh, I really like the sound of that. So, have we found any supplies? One of the teams found a supply depot. He said it should have enough food and ammunition to last a few weeks. However, they couldn't get a lot of medical supplies. We might need to do a few scavenging runs. We'll think about that when we are finished with this place. Well, let's get moving then. You can stay here and see if you find anything valuable. Team 4 should almost be there. Can we go upstairs from here? I don't know. We'll see. Hmm. So much useless junk.
Marcus. Soon the military will have no more power. Then we A lot of lives were lost today. So many people. My brother Hank as well. Keeping you alive will just result in more destruction. Are you sure this one won't be breached as well? It is very well protected. 